It's a letter here from Roy Hurst in Felixstowe. He says, Dear Alan, do you consider me racist? Whilst I wish no ill of anyone of any race, I do have what I would describe as racial preferences. Hmm. Uh, a simple ranking of which is listed below in descending order. Um, all right. Uh, uh, one, white, brackets, Caucasian. Two, Jewish. Three, mixed race, brackets, white and Asian. Four, mixed race, brackets, white and black. Uh, five, mixed race, brackets, uh, black and Asian. Uh, six, indigenous Americans. Seven, oriental, brackets, Chinese, Japanese. Eight, Arab. Nine, Asian. Uh, ten, black. Eleven, other miscellaneous persons of an unfamiliar hue. Uh, he says, my wife agrees, although she would swap orientals and Arabs, and adds, again, I emphasize this is not to do with hatred, simply preference. Just as one may prefer coffee over tea, I prefer certain races over others. Well, um, first thing, got to say, Roy, your handwriting is exquisite. It is quite beautiful. And there's not a single error or crossing out in the whole thing. You must have done a first draft. Uh, if that was straight off the bat, I'd take my hat off to you. If it weren't for the content, I, I, I'd frame it. But I have to say, uh, most people, me included, uh, would say that you are a racist. I think that's just, uh, yeah, that's just factual. Um, it's not to say there isn't a nicer side to you. I notice you've included a, a recipe for a farmhouse fruit cake, which I will certainly try. Uh, and for other listeners, remember my audience is a broad church, and like all churches, there are one or two racists uh, normally sitting near the front. Would that it were not so, but there'd it be for all to see so. But my advice to you, Roy, would be try as much as you can to be less racist. I say this when I meet racist people. Start by uh, not being racist one day a week, then two, then three, then four, and before you know it, you'll have broken the back of it and you'll have done a whole week without being racist, uh, which you can then roll out into the rest of your life. And, uh, and I find that that works well. Do write again, Roy. And, uh, you know, don't be downhearted. As I say, if you can pull anything from the fire, it's your delightful handwriting. I have devoured the penmanship of your delightfully calligraphic missive. Uh, for those that don't know, calligraphy is the ancient art of camp writing. <laughs>